everyone. Change the camera around a little bit because I realized that my head was kind of getting cut off last night. And as I had to help things up, you couldn't really see them. Um, so this was the one I did last night from this month's transfer. And I'm going to redo the transfer on a different board just so you can see a little bit different direction to do it. So, let's see. Oh, all right. Um, I grabbed out lots of stuff, I guess. Okay. So I grabbed out my Odette board. And then, yes. So I'm just going to clean it off from where the box transfers that I have. Sorry about that. I'm still working on the new setup. Yeah. Without things falling over. And just need my next. Okay. Just make sure I can see if there's any comments so I don't forget to miss those. And I'm just gonna spray it on my board. Doesn't matter if you use regular water or distilled water, you just clean up the board. And I usually do it on for like 10 seconds or so. Okay, let's see. Eraser. And your debt board is basically just a white chalkboard. Paints up the same. And sometimes the really darker colors really stand out on it. Um, I'm just mixing them around the circle. I'm not using a lot of like pressure or anything like that. Just making sure I get it all up. And then Rinse out my little eraser. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep it up, erase it away. So this is one of the debt boards that comes in different sizes and shapes that can be reused over and over and over again. Towel on it just to speed it up. It's the drying process. I got everything on the edge. It's nice and clean and ready to go. Alright. I'm just going to I'm gonna try this one. I always should make sure that I've got I know where the hangers are on the back though, if you're gonna hang it up. Um, because sometimes you do it upside down by mistake. And if you wanted to hang it up, then it would cause you a little trouble. Okay, so like I see, I do have a little bit of glitter on this one. Um, let's see. So I did pinks and oranges and yellows last night. Um, let's see. Oh, oh. After these dried last night, I just stuffed the sticky stuff back on them. Still nice and sticky. Gets all the stickiness pretty much back. Uh, there is a way, if you've used the transfer so many times that the stickiness is just gone. Um, 
there's a little sticky spray that you can get to like spray down to stick it down. Um, I haven't had that. I haven't had needed that, but I've got the spray just in case I ever do. Okay, so. Grab a green and stir it up and see what it looks like. Right. The green's in pretty good shape. Can't wait till I have all the new formula paste. And I'm gonna have to really. Once I get all the new formula, my paste replaced with new formula ones, um, I won't really need to really stir it up or add water or anything. Um, nice. Okay. And put a... I was thinking about doing direction in a different color, but I don't really need to. So you could pretty much do this on a smaller board if you wanted, especially if you were just going to do the liquid life have, have imagined. Got a little distracted after work today. So that's why I'm on later than the seven that I planned on. Almost fell asleep actually. This is just the fig. Uh, there's two purples that they have. One is the fig that is this one that's a little bit of a lighter color. The other one is a uh, darker, deeper purple. Uh, it's called like regal. And then I can always, you can always lighten up any color with white. Mix around and make your own. figure out how I want that one lined up after okay. this was the one the other night where the feathering on some of the smaller flowers I really want to make sure that I get that good um because I was just kind of going over it easily and then realized as I was pulling it up it had taken a while because I was mixing colors the other night um to give that effect and then by the time I pulled it up some of the feathering on the arrows Didn't want to shine through, so I just put it back down and did a little bit more harder pressure. Yay. 
Okay. I think I'm going to try to put this back down, but I'm only going to do a couple of arrows because I want to be able to fit that up there. As long as I don't touch my lettering, it should be fine. And I can fit about four rows on it. I'm just going to use my finger to like pat it down to stick it down in place. And then I'll use pressure with this squeegee to uh, get the rest of it down. And you can do the arrows in different colors or do them, all one, do them all like say in black and then make one red that stands out or pink or something, any, really anything. Do touch that a little bit. It's okay. I can easily clean that up. I'll just use a Q-tip to clean that up afterwards. I do want to add the other saying. You don't have to use every single part that comes with it if you want to mix them around a lot. Um, but I kind of like this saying all together, just a little bit reversed from the one I did the other night. I could always trim up this transfer if I really wanted to because um, it's got the excess on each side that we really don't need. I'm going to use my cadet blue, which is really nice and bold color. I do need to stir this one up a little bit. Not too much. It's still really creamy, like yogurt and frosting. So it looks like I sprayed a little water on it last time, so just make sure it's in a good consistency. Use a little smaller squeegee on it because it's really small lettering. So, all right. You pull it up from top to bottom or left to right. You just want to make sure that you do it pretty evenly. All right. So this is just a more colorful one than the one I, one I did last night. So 
Take a little after you have imagined. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I'm just in some darker colors on a white background. And I'll hang this one up. Um, I like it. Do you think of a different way to do that? To do the next one. I'll try to do it a couple different ways. So this is the one I did last night where I mixed the raspberry, orange, and yellow. So same, same design, just a different look for it. You know, depending on any colors you want, change it the way that it looks. Ooh. Ooh. That's better. Okay. All right, so put this to the side so we can dry. Someplace safe that the cats can't get it. do one other little smaller one. Like last night I did the farm on the lantern that really dressed it up so it wasn't so plain. That's the only thing I didn't like about that lantern is that it's plain. I've got a second one too. Um, is there a pair? I was going to, I got this at the Dollar Tree, um, and I was going to put a little design on this one and see how it looks. So, let's see what I think I want the design to be. Put all my little ornaments. what I wanted on here. I don't know if I want one that's a little bit bigger than this or not. Yeah. This should be a good size. So I'm just going to do a quick little small transfer just to dress it up so it's not so plain. Um, and I'll tie like into my spring farmer's market kind of theme stuff. I'll stop my transfer. This one is a curved surface, but it's a pretty even curved surface. So unlike other ones where it gets all bubbly and stuff. Okay. And do want the color to stain out, so I'm just gonna do a little. I want to do a red. I'm loving the scarlet red that I have. Not only is it the new paste formula, so it's perfect, never needs any mixing up or anything. Um, it's a perfect red. I tried to order another Scarlet because it's being, it was um, being retired as of February 1st, but it was sold out. They still had it on the website, so I'm just going to keep an eye out. If so, I'm going to order another one because it really is perfect. Didn't have to stir it up, didn't have to add water. I've used it several different times and I've never had to add anything to it. All right, let's see how the red looks. Oh, cute. So, and then I could put pot, a potted plant in here or um, so far, I've just been keeping my extra little chalkboard pieces in there um, just to try to keep them a little organized, but just figure out what else to put in there. And it's stuck on pretty well. And the, this will wash off, so if I wanted to make this more holiday for like a Valentine's one to Easter to spring and summer, um, I could easily do that and just keep changing it for the seasons, depending on what I end up deciding to put in here. 
um, might be good for my brushes as well. I did bring out my little ornament tree. Let's so put these up there. Um, it's a tree that I wanted for a while. It's not on. It's on a timer, um, but it just like bl blinks and like glistens. So it's a little way to add these two. Oops. going to really do for tonight. Um, I've got some new boards that just came in today. Uh, there's a couple different things I want to try, but I also got um, some trans some silkscreen mesh transfers from another company just to try them out to see how they are. Um, look like they weren't as good, uh, but I'm going to try them anyways. And I've got a little little pieces of wood um, and stencils that look like little Scrabble transfers so you can you know, make spread them out make different names and things like that and I think that's going to be the next one that I try that and I've got some big D and E size transfers um, that I probably like to do uh, I've got a couple of the new ones that are already in and then there's the whole farm charm theme that they have several ones in there like this one life is better in the country and try to get that on one as well. Um, so stay tuned. Remember to like the video, share the video, and then comment that you shared it to get entered in the weekly drawing. Uh, and then everybody have a good night. Bye.